tena mama nuko saa pala karepa lietu yukinge international simampi italenga yule tibabu na dadu jupa pala mane simampi italwini kwa na saa soko kwa karewini kipa tenga kuni kafu mbeti si ya uza mana yangu wao eh na 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 tu kuli tisambere la pana ba ya pana zuran bogna na tisono orkum kaba wum yega mene mbarim ke katepanye mce honorable hamza amadu hamza tum ya pa honorable mc la denda punde ni bila 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 ko la yel yel semam pe tanama ale ka tinan te suki meta o la e ba ko lumbor ban man sim sabo on do ma gol ka sika ka semam pe tanama sira semam pe sitman wane bi kuyen wane bi kan mi yel sira wane bi kan na riel to sungo ko ka ka bok lebe zin balam o tu ko o ko re tem malo o ye de ka on sanga ka bok yire birige yo on bo re yel sira la ga tuo yo on bo re bok ka tuo
Regional Minister, Mbesuri Kenna. Regional Minister, Mbesuri Kenna. Yes, sir. Uh, region.
Regional minister, un peintre là. Regional minister. Soja Komanda. MC for Boko Central, the hardworking DC, the hardworking MC, and the hardworking, the hardworking regional minister. Uh, I can I'm sharing a video la. Temore bok eh, gafar. Temore bok MC. Kamor honorable abanga. Kamore the regional minister. The hard working people. They are just arrived. Allah, honorable, honorable. 
Honorable MC for Goku Hamza. Honorable Hamza, Honolaka, Yagosera one and all. Honorable Kenna and Honorable Stephen. Honorable Stephen Yakugu, Ne Boku, Boku Central MC.
Okay.
is now back in their children. He is a little child. He looks up to God. So it's only God who can take care of small children. And then, Nava uh, Bonburi, the Sapelaga chief. A chief who likes people. That's the Sapelaga chief. And then, the Tini chief. We put in the airport. Put in the airport. Also, similar to that of the Congo chief. A desert area has become a place you can farm rice or uh, maggi crop. So, those are the and they have come on behalf of the Zugrana to welcome you. More especially you who superintend over chiefs in Ghana. They are just, they are welcome to Posao. Ken Ken. When I'm not by the time you leave Posao, you will go back with blessings. Thank you very much. Push your very good Honourable, uh, uh, this is Kusat Tewai's association, I was the one who was sending you the data, uh, uh, and now I will call you, no may God bless you, you. you are the hard worker honourable, and you will not be only this, uh, but we will help you, we will help you, uh, you. Uh, so you will become the MP, more than the president. Okay. Uh, he is the key for all. Well. Uh, the colossal planner, a more of a that patient will move mountains. The no one other man, the one who do, do things, but what for us? I tell you, we have a good for them to realize that people who will find out that number of us and then you for our super from Boston, the Kuzasi female is there. Now, what for another one? About bullying in life people. The Trump one, I run a mouth. These are the two mothers. They say you are also welcome to put up. The push your telephone. When I'm not Kamali, I was up. But the one I run on it. A young mother. This is the other people. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. We want to thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> now, by the time, now, in your absence, the Honorable Minister, we have already been the the one by you is the common uh, uh, for uh, uh, He is a renowned specialist uh, working uh, at the National uh, Academy uh, Center uh, in the UK. Uh, he also holds uh, an MBA. He has an estate development in Accra. He has taught uh, six, uh, eight unit classes in block in Kintampo when he takes care of the uh, underprivileged and he pays the teachers and, and fund the location, including the drilling of boreholes and helping churches. He's called, and he's a councillor. He's a councillor in the UK government, and he's a Labour Party uh, ward chairman in Riverside County. Riverside is their ward, Riverside ward party chairman. So he's not only uh, head of personnel, he is also a politician, he is a development worker, he is a philanthropist. He is called Councillor Dominic Mbang from Bukazuli, a small village at Nazabuku, Bukazuli. So that's the chairman for this occasion. Um, so, So, uh, with the permission of the chairman, I have the singular honor to acknowledge the presence of the dignitaries who are here, so that the people of Kusa will know those they are also uh, celebrating with. So, in the entourage are the Honorable Ayunga Abadre Yakubu, the DC for Binduri, my own DC, that's my, my district, that's my DC. The Honorable Musa Osman, the DCE for Karu. Honorable 
Albert, Afuka la juga dia berdiri dana. Oh, dia MP dua kali melihat dia berdiri dana. On a bul Isaka anabra simpan di si. On a bul Ahmed Isaku Tahir. Also, my DC at my workplace. I I I work and live in Zabila. That's my DC. But uh, I think Patre will take my cup when I finally am no more. Honorable Zubero Abdullahi, Pufika DC, is also here. The Honorable MB4, Binduri, and Deputy Minister for the Works and Housing. Uh, Honorable Abdullahi, Abanga, Man, Ghana Army. So, we are going to the house. We are going to go to the house. We are going to go to the house. The representative of the president in the region, who also happened to be my former MP, and also currently the regional minister, Honorable Stephen Yakubu, the regional minister for the Afa East Region. When we look at you know, uh, as kid somebody, very important, I introduced him when he was not here. The MCE, the landlord of the area, the one who three weeks ago or four weeks, uh, he told us that Sman Peter will come on. And we thought he was lying. Because looking at the situation, we're wondering whether could start, the Sman Peter will actually come. But he said that we should mark his lips that Sman Peter will come on. And today, Sman Peter is a reality. With an applause, let us acknowledge the person of Honorable Amadou. Hamza, the MP for Boku Central, Boku Municipal, the MP for Boku Municipal, and the guest of honor for this occasion, who is also an MP for Ahanta West. He is a minister for chieftaincy and religious affairs. Tell me, welcome, honorable Ebenezer. Kozu He is here in our midst. I want on behalf of the people of Kusas to welcome you to this place. That the president of the regional house of Apa East is also present here to celebrate with us. He's a guest to the Bukunaba. He's seated by the Bukunaba and a whole lot. Time is already fast spent. But we sought the permission to start. Now we want to invite the Minister Chief Executive to give us the welcome address. If you say we should disperse, we will just disperse and go. If you say we should sit down and continue, we will continue. Minister Chief Executive, please welcome our address. Mr. Chairman, special guest of honor, His Excellency the President Nana Adadam Kwaku Kwado, the Zubran Bokunaba, Paramount Chief of the National Area, Honorable Regional Minister, Upper East Region, Honorable Minister of State, Honorable Members of Parliament, Municipal District, Honorable Assembly Members, and I uh, also use this opportunity to welcome the Minister in charge of Tutanti and Cultural Affairs, who represents the President of the Republic on this occasion. Heads of security agencies and departments, sons and daughters of the South, media, distinguished advisor guests. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great joy to have all of us gathered here this morning on no less a purpose than to celebrate the 34th annual Summer Peace Festival of the Great Kusau Kingdom. And it is my singular honor to welcome you all to this August occasion. Indeed, what brings us together is much stronger than what divides us. I want to first of all thank the Almighty Allah for making it possible for us to meet again on this august occasion to once again express our gratitude first to Him 
and to our ancestors for their blessings. Mr. Chairman, the theme for this year's celebration is promoting socio-economic and cultural development of Kusa, the role of literacy and cultural tourism. The team has aptly been hard to emphasize the importance of culture, tourism, and literacy to the socio-economic development of the Kusa Kingdom. Culture, as we all know, is simply a way of life. It includes the values, knowledge, belief, art, law, language, norms, moral, customs, and other capabilities acquired by a man as a member of a society. In fact, both the Bible and Quran tell us that all men were created same, but what distinguished one race of people from the other and made each unique subsequently was their language, norms, values, beliefs, etc. And that constitutes culture. Cultural renaissance, or what is known as Sankofa in their current talents, is linked to the mythical Sankofa bear that flies forward what is air turned backward, reflecting the belief that the past serves as a guide for planning into the future. By this, we understand that culture helps us to appreciate where we come and have come from, where we are, and of course, this puts us in a better position to know where we are going. One school of thought opens that, in the absence of culture, man is prone to lose all knowledge of even the basic means of survival, and that it will be catastrophic for the prevailing culture of mankind to be wiped out. Culture is said to be on the oil that keeps the society running. It is that which defines us and gives us a sense of belonging. Tradition and knowledge have also been described in certain quarters as the main pillars of development and sustenance of communities. And that no society can progress in the absence of the two. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I may not need to deliver any further on the importance of culture to our development process as I am confident, I am confidently convinced that we have all refreshed our minds on faith. By this, a much greater responsibility is placed on us to seek to devote, improve, preserve, and when necessary, reform and refine our cultural values and system as a major tool for the development of the Kusan traditional area. This is among others required that we identify and most importantly create an enabling environment that will set out our culture both locally and internationally. Of course, the call for development of culture as our team intimate, equally requires us we take steps to emulate certain cultural practices that impede development. Examples are female genital mutilation, widow rights, and most especially child marriages that have been noted to be prevalent in the northern sector. I wish to call on our chiefs, big mothers, opinion leaders, and religious organizations to take active part towards this agenda. Ladies and gentlemen, illiteracy has been noted to be one of the unfavorable social issues that hinder development, and it is believed that most crucial way to pull a nation out of poverty and underdevelopment is to eradicate illiteracy. Literacy means to education, individual acquiring basic skills, knowledge, customs, and values through education. Any effort that seeks to promote literacy sets the society on the path of development. It is, however, sad to note that the standard of education has fallen drastically, resulting in abysmal performances of students, both in the BC and the YC, over the past years. This has become a growing concern, and we must all, we must all, at all costs, ensure that the situation is reversed. Available records from Ghana Education Service indicates a rise in school dropout rate almost about 3,441 people 
failing to return to school following the resumption of school after the COVID-19 lockdown. This is only in the, in the Mokou municipality, and I am sure that the story wouldn't be different in the rest of the district. The Ghana Education Service, in collaboration with the Assembly, has taken some steps to ensure that the students return to the classroom. I would therefore wish to encourage parents, teachers, and opinion leaders, Assembly members, to join, to, to, to join the return to school campaign. I equally want to employ our traditional authorities to strictly enforce the ban against social activities that have potential endangering the lives of our youth and causing truancy among the people who contribute to school program. As an assembly, the promotion and the promotion and all development of literacy, culture and tourism remains a key agenda in our development class. In the five year plan of the assembly, we seek to identify and document existing prehistoric and cultural heritage sites, develop two tourism sites annually to support the organization and celebrations of festivals in Baku, as well as organize reading competitions for lower primary schools. These are but few of our plans towards achieving this objective. Of course, there are other plans but time will not allow us to mention them. As part of the Assembly's Global Economic Development Plan and the same broad plan, we equally seek to collaborate effectively with the Business Advisory Centre of the Assembly as well as private investors to boost the development of small and medium scale enterprises in the municipality. This will involve training, counseling and provision of logistic support to equip the young entrepreneurs with the media skills to enable them to compete both locally and international markets. It would equally and most essentially require the creation of an enabling environment for businesses to thrive. The construction of the Gidibar factory under the 1E1F policy will no doubt also create employment and boost our economy as a municipality. Work is at advanced stage and I want to seize this opportunity too on behalf of the President of the Republic of Ghana to say that the government of the NGP will do everything possible to ensure the youth of Baku will not be left out in its agenda. Mr. Chairman, one thing we need to, however, know is that no matter how rich our culture may be, and no matter how entire our land may be called be, in the absence of peace, they, are, they all remain in white elephant. Peace, as we all know, is a recipe for development. And if we destroy the peace we have, we become our own enemies to the development which we seek. It is for this reason that we must seek peace about all things. A few weeks ago, the meeting had witnessed a sort of dispute. Consequently, the Minister for Interior of Home, advice of the Regional Security Council, informed the Gertie on the municipality, much as this may be, have been presumed to be by maybe a sudden. I must state that it was very timely and the best decision to have taken to need the situation in the back. Let me also add that the decision was in the wise in use to put as it is being perceived, but it is the best interest of the people living in Baku. I wish on this note to seize this opportunity to, on behalf of the people of Baku, and on my own behalf, as a chairman of the Municipal Security Council, to thank the Minister for Interior, Mr. Honorable Ambrose Derry, and the Regional Minister, Honorable Stephen Yaku, and the entire Regional Security Council together with the Municipal Security Council for their immeasurable roles towards ensuring peace in Boko Municipality. I cannot forget my own security agencies here in Boko, who have for over the past few weeks gone through sleepless nights to ensure tranquility, peace, and order in the municipality. A special mention 
is also made of the Boku Inter-Ethnic Peace Committee for its relentless efforts towards sustaining peace in the municipality. Now, to the entire people of Boku, I want to thank all of you for your cooperation and involvement so far. In these difficult and challenging times, we have finally shown that we can use better ways to resolve issues that come from violence. And I urge that we continue to say, I am particularly confident that this too shall soon pass. I repeat, I am particularly confident that this too shall pass in the name of Allah. And we shall come out of this more united than before. I want to reiterate that what keeps us united is much stronger than what divides us. We have to come too far, we have come too far as a people, and we cannot afford to let our effort go down the drain. Let us therefore arise, great people of our land, and lift our banner for peace, and let us be one accord, acclaimed by Osage Fu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, who has said, forward ever. Backward, never. On this occasion, Mr. Chairman, I want on behalf of the Zubra, Bokunaba Azoka Abu Bravo II, the chief and opinion leaders, the entire people of Boku, and on my own behalf, thank all of you, especially our special guests of honor, uh, Mr. Chairman, the President, the President of the Republic of Ghana, and I will thank you for doing this case, being the minister in charge of Tita, Tita, and culture. For joining the people of Boku to once again celebrate this occasion. May the good Almighty Allah bless all of us. Long live Boku, long live Ghana. Thank you all. When you do you have a look at the law, you have a boy and Siena, Corona, Lumba Zin and Pet, Chief Executive Nanzin. What about Chief Executive and Siena? Yiga and Ayelia Tanam Kusa. You didn't make take at the Indian name, God didn't name with the good thing. That is it, and it's it, but you go to the Taba, to Puri, to Piat, and a Yinne, to Woma Taba, to Ban Caperita, and a Taba, a Yinne, to Mamani was an Anna Yinne. Then the Queen didn't name a Catala Taba, God didn't name with the good thing. Queen in a Manasun Ba and Antoazu, Sama Pil Antoazu, to Nala. Yes, and I'm a piano got to why it's not an August. The Lavia and the Tamana Zinch, the Pam Ligidi, and the Tinker Moko, the Amo Kuru comes to the Kusal, Litra Sini, Kusal, Zamsigni. We Kusal, you come to the Athen and I am a Kaka Kusal, King Tun, the Apple Sunset, the African Sukule, Kuyan and Moboge. We are a Roman Dolphin of Kuru to Wusa, Sosa to Wusa. It has been a shot at numbers in this bungle, crop, and get a crop went bungle. Where she went to the cabat, but Sidiaki, a puabla, a canam seraba, it's a knock of the nam wasa, no book of us. I got the number I sent you to the food in Malamani, Malaga Asoma, you got to go, the Malamani, the Etimani, the Tomani, the Ata Bosca Etiman got the manda, very man got the dish. Everyone got the year. Every two months, we got the man. They have to come back to live. You are problematic. You are mad. The bank of the year has been banned. You are tight. The man who we are not there. We just want to move to the more to the man who we have. The man who we have. Come on, we more on a decision. Zito man at his knees. I got two more. I think I know better. He pees up there. The man up there. The man who we have. Now I am mad. Ulabara, ulabara kwenye tafuta, ama wakati kala, tayari upela, tayari pada mi, kuna wumbi ni pele. Mwanamke ulala me, introduce honorable Fushene Atongo, former Deputy Minister for Upper East and former MP for Zebula Constituency, umebe tu sio wumbela. But when the Chiefancy Affairs is here, before. The Zugrana speech. We also want to let him know. The conversation in Kosa, Kosa, Kosa. In those days when we grew up, lands were known by the area. So if they told you that Baro, it means it's a land for the business. Baro. If they told you that 
they were going to be. It means a land for the team movement. If they told you they were going to Mampuru, it means a land for the Mampuru. And when they say they are going to Kusau, it means it's a land for the Kusasi people. And Kusau begins from the red water after the Namdan district. In the forest, the red water is the beginning of Kusau. Up to Wotiana, up to uh, Wudana Sankasi, we share boundary with Togo. We show but share boundary here with Burkina Faso, Mognore, the villa site of uh, Bokues, share boundary with uh, Burkina Faso. The area called Kusau has got six administrative districts and six MPs. And like we were saying at the beginning before you came, if we had known that Nana would have been very generous, we would have also petitioned for a region. Because there are regions that also have 46 districts. We would have more than qualified to become a region. But we were not properly in, uh, advised. And we allowed this opportunity to slip by. So Kusau is so large and vast that, I mean, if you look at it in the map, you will appreciate it. that out of 15 constituencies and districts in the Upper East region, Kusau controls six districts, six constituencies. The rest of the nine is shared by the Fafars, the Kassines, the Bulusas, the Nabunans, the Tansis. So your guess will be as good as mine as how many districts they are taking. So, um, now, there is no time, but we would have wished, there is a traditional dance called Yako. We want them to come two minutes, and we invite the Zugrana to come. Uh, Yandi may have a two minutes, ma. This festival existed in the olden days, and almost every village had it, and it danced using the waist. We used our waist to shake the things, and it was admirable in those days. It was also a festival, the Yango festival. But of course now, uh, it's not being used so much, but we have decided to select the Smampit festival, to develop it. There used to be a festival called the Zizara festival. Every clan performed it. The Bukumto people celebrated it. But the Simon Pit was so key. Because if you don't perform Simon Pit Festival, you can't perform funerals. Because you have to be united before you gather people together. If you are not united and you gather at the funeral house, they will fight. So they will celebrate the Simon Pit Festival, unite the people. There will be a big bowl where they will put, take all the millet and put it there, mixed with water and pito. And everybody will drink from it. And once you drink from it, it means you have been reunited with your people and you can start celebrating together. That's the significance of the Simon Pit. So the Yango group are from Zorsi. The Zorsi Yango group. Two minutes, two minutes, ma. I am wet. I have a bang in the room of Jim and the good young. Kazura and Yangina. It's young and not cool. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it.
drama of the program, Mama Lisa. And regional minister. And in fact, uh, it was really interesting to know that in 1951, the present Boku, the present Garu constituency, used to be called the Kusasi East constituency. And the present Boku constituency used to be called Kusasi Central constituency. And in, but the Vimuri constituency now used to be called the Boku constituency. So the Boku constituency was the Binduri constituency. And then the Kusasi West is now the present Zebila constituency. In 1951, in 1952, those were the constituencies that existed. And the MPs by then, Ayidana, Asegiri, uh, Asa Jamberu, Jamberu Awuni, uh, Aramamande at the point, Baba Ayagaba, and Asunda, they were the MPs in those days. But names have changed. So now we will want to invite the Zugrana. I will move to him to say a word, and I'm sure he will ask his secretary to read a Siman Pit speech for him. But he will say a word before. So I will move to the Zugrana for his speech. Hello. ودكونات <laughs> I'm 
the limitations and obvious mistakes, which are obstacles in our quest for progress and for that matter, development. It is also an occasion for transmitting and showcasing our own customs, values, and our children and generations yet to come for renewing ties with families and friends. Mr. Chairman, it has always been normal to, to make demands when there is that opportunity to meet government representatives. For this year's celebration, my special request is a peace for my people to go about their daily activities from which their families can take care of without less or hindrance. I must say that, that I am deeply, deeply saddened because, because of the recent security problems in the area. The occasion is being observed with mourning, fear, and disgust. I and my people, people very well recognize and appreciate, and appreciate the role played by the Boku Municipal Assembly, the Assembly, the Regional Coordination Council, and the National Security, as well as the Arabic people of Sa. And the various efforts aimed at bringing lasting peace and security to the area. As part of these efforts, government delegated the Honorable Minister for National Security to meet and uh, both precisely and purposes in Germany. This meeting was held on 20th December 2021 and from all indications was very fruitful. Both parties made commitments to ensure an end to the feud between them. Uh, okay. Mambo now. Indeed, we do uh, okay, think okay. implementation of the decision uh, okay. would have gone a long way to achieving the desired peace that we have been yearning for over the years. A live TV program dedicated to all fighter groups and the public in general was organized on Max Empire TV and Radio. Both sides were represented with some of the personalities who attended the Tamale meeting. It was indeed a program to watch. The well articulated commitments was broken the same night, leading to firing of firearms with the consequent loss of lives and property. This is in fact too sad and disappointing. I sympathize with families who have lost loved ones, including an innocent woman who was shot yesterday. May their souls rest in perfect peace and with those with injuries and with them speedy recovery. I have a firm conviction that the conflict would have long been a thing of the past if the Inter-Ethnic Peace Committee was that responsible and sincere to each other. It is no doubt that government has played very significant roles in a situation which I sincerely appreciate. But I am of the clear opinion that more still has to be done. First of all, the perpetrators should be arrested and made to face the full rigors of the law. I have confidence in the security of Ghana, and I know they will fish out the miscreants in our midst. I hereby urge them not to relent in their the perennial conflict must end for Kusa to return to his aid for meaningful development. It is common knowledge that without peace, all the development efforts by government in the area will come to naught. I therefore assure government my unflinching commitment on my own behalf and all these loving residents of Kusa and pledge our support in the search for lasting peace and security in my jurisdiction. Mr. Chairman and Special Guest of Honor, the people of Kusa are very much appreciative of government for the development projects programs extended to the area. I have ever with much humility plead that the execution of the remaining portions of the Polga Boko Pulumakom Road be given much more attention, particularly the Boku Road Town Road uh, that are on top. Other achievements of the government well appreciated by my people include but not limited to the free SH education policy, the construction of the Tamlet Dam and a bridge in the Garu Tempani area, the planting for food and jobs, the one village, one dam uh, policy, the extension of the school feeding program, among others. Mr. Chairman, 
The theme for this year's celebration is that promoting the socio-economic and cultural development of Kusa through sustainable Kusa literacy and cultural tourism. It is common knowledge that education is key to development. The reason is provided for in the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana, making this compulsory for all children of school going age to be in school. This has, made, has been re-emphasized by the FQ and the Free SH at the second cycle. It is unfortunately been observed that the performance of our children at the BC is always not any and obviously transcends to the second cycle and tertiary level. One of the factors for this situation has been identified in the fact that the Kusa language, which is the mother tongue of Kusa, is not taught at the basic school level. Rather, the Gari Kasim are the languages taught at the only training college in Kusa, that is the World College of Education, Kusina. Experts in education have identified that learning through mother tongue instead of English facilitates teaching and learning. The importance of mother tongue literacy cannot therefore be overemphasized. The great Nelson Mandela of blessed memory underscored the importance of mother tongue literacy when he said that if you talk to a man in the language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to him in the language, that goes to his heart. Honorable Minister, several years ago, Kusa was taught in basic schools in my traditional area, but has now been abandoned without any justifiable reason. Several calls for the reintroduction have been unsuccessful. It is against this background that in 1912, I, together with my elders and the business chiefs, established the Kusa Education Oversight Committee, headed by the late Reverend John Jacob Ayebo, then Bishop of the Anglican Diocese of Tamale and a former member of the Council of State. The mandate of this committee was to work in getting Kusa into all the society schools in Kusa through the government National Israeli Accelerated Plan program NALA. At the committee's meeting, there was a realization to get trained teachers to teach Kusa at the basic education level. Plans were therefore initiated and ultimately the University of Education Minimum accepted and started a degree program in Kusa at this Ajumago campus in the 2013 2014 academic year. The first batch consisted of 50 students, cumulatively a total of 179 students have enrolled on the program, many of whom have graduated. We congratulate our chiefs and elders and indeed the hard working committee for the immense efforts put into achieving this historic feat. Since the inception of the Kusar program as University of Education in Bahrain, the number of students has consistently dropped from the initial 50 students in the first batch to the present number of 60 for both first and second year put together. The challenge is that job opportunities for graduates who were previously not teachers before pursuing the program are minimal and non-existent. But all those who come on board the program are teacher, as teachers on training have been easily reintegrated and upgraded upon graduation. Those who came directly have had a battle with no avenues for job. Our special guest of honor, the need to introduce Kusa in the College of Education is a clarion call. I repeat it for emphasis. A special guest of honor, the need to introduce Kusa in the College of Education is a clarion call. It is important to know that the following languages already being taught in the College of Education is not done. For example, Kuruni, Kasim, Dagaya, Dagaya, and Gonja. Even though this is highly undeniable, Kusa is one of the major languages of the northern Ghana. It's conspicuously missing from the lesson. It is a pathetic thing that each year our busy of the above language to certify the part of the West African is missing cancer. But fail to write because you simply cannot. Meanwhile, 
The background for this is already laid by a good number of students who have completed their masters in languages in the language program. We focus in the South. Mr. Chairman, teaching and learning of the South in this school is one of the practical approaches to reviving our language in the education institution. Instead of continuing with calls for government intervening without any effort on our part, the Pusai Education Oversight Committee, in preparedness to bring Pusai Education to people to the media, made a move by establishing the teaching and learning of Pusai on a common basis in 15 basic schools in three out of the six. 15 years of graduation from the University of Education Winnipeg were further groomed for the pilot schools, Pusai and TLS. That's the thing I learned Where the city did get selected to the city school through the decision of the Ghana Education Service of the selected districts. I am happy to know that the teaching and learning of the city is the best of the city for May on June 7, 2021, with much excitement from many programs in the people. I am also informed that many schools are clamoring to be included on the pilot of EY. The Let me block that guy. Let me block him. He Go and watch. No more. Heavy security. What, what, what? And then all the, the cats are not celebrating when it's security like that. Have said in your good intentions for their education. May our efforts in this regard see the position of our national and the non Hopefully, in the course of the next academic year. Honorable Minister, I wish the new institution to remind the president through about a number of previous questions I made to him. Not that I would to him to consider my professional as a matter of agency by providing his instructions for the new Kuzila Boku Garoni and Tang. This is where Steve Grant will relieve the people of numerous health challenges we face. Two, the extension of electricity to most parts of our national area leads much to be desired. Most communities in this area are crying for extension of electricity to the rural areas. Which will have the desired effect. The Bimuni Community Senior School, that's three, a reminder. Education needs to be made about this school. This will help care the incidents of pregnancy among them the who are likely to have a lot of opportunities among them who are likely to have a lot of opportunities and live in local houses and who care. So they are exposed to pretty mature sexual activity. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind all my teachers and people that are here that COVID-19 is here and the people should take all the protocols seriously to prevent what is needed there. Let us take the piece of our past from the health system as well as the government to protect ourselves and the disease from the belief that COVID-19 is not a disease. We need to be more serious in that direction. I am a general who is a part of the disease. We are able to see and people have for some time established the open of our education and government fund. This fund takes all of us and I just support the premium and the needy students in their business of economic investment. This government and the fund is managed by a wide consultative committee. And this investment is hard to do not to be made. In the light of this, we are able to do not to come to the fund. 
So Charlie, I am very happy to be here. 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 I am very happy the voice okay. 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 I'm <laughs> 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 Next year, tomorrow, agenda thousand chairs from you. Okay. Tomorrow, platform that okay. Okay. So, tomorrow, thousand chairs. That's good. From youth. Yes. Youth. Yes. Tomorrow, thousand chairs. That's good. It's a done. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. What am I saying? I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to the Zabretin and by Tay Kusago, one man, Saman P, the King Hakogos, the King Hatentinam, the Bomor Malasam. So, idea Kangayak and the Nasumo Tabergo, the Pusabero, because other boys, I have been in a bear. I can't have a can of a four pound of a plum, good man. Live, Pusazo voice as a switch. Uh, we did here live. I'm gonna pick it up and pick it up and win it up. I love and win it up. I'm gonna win it up. I dear Amina. I shall miss you. If I see your face like this, there's something there. Do me. Mashallah, Mashallah. Kai Fahali. Kai Fahali, Kai Fahali. Oh, Kai Fahali, Kai Fahali. Oh, that's good. That impulse about what's up. But my, but my, but my, but my, but my, but my, but I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah, hi. Hey, girl. What are you doing? Come on, Bola. You fall, okay? I'm going to which one? I don't want to of the I don't want to be of the I don't want to be of the I don't want to be of the